welcome to our tutorials. Uh, from today, I am going to create a C programming language playlist. So, hope you guys uh, will enjoy it. And I am going to start my tutorials. And it's my first tutorials on my channel. So, let's start. As we have seen on the board, I have written some key points of C programming language. Uh, we will start from the definitions that is C is actually what is C we have to know it first it's a programming language it's like a, it's a high level programming language uh, in which we are going to learn some structured programming like C is a structured programming language developed by Dennis Ritchie so Dennis Ritchie developed it at Bell Lab okay it is a high level programming language and also can be called as middle level language. Why middle level language? Because when it was developed, before it, QBasic programming language was developed and again hence C++ was developed. So it comes to middle and hence we can call it as a middle level language. It cannot be written but yes we can call it as a middle level language. Okay. So it uses a compiler to compile and execute the programs. Okay. So C programming uses compiler. As previously, QBasic programming language was using the interpreter. Uh, C programming language uses the compiler. So let's come to the another point that is C character sets. So what are the character sets of the C? Let's see what is character set in C. The set of characters that are used to form words, numbers, and expressions in C. So, what will character set will do in C programming means there must be something like letters, digits, special symbols, tokens, keywords, comments, statements, something like this. So, <coughs> uh, as compared to C language and normal languages like why is C needed? C is needed to make the machine, make the computer machine understand actually what is to be done. <coughs> so for understanding of machine level language, we are using some high level programming language to make or develop some softwares, programs, as a graph. So, <coughs> let's see some key points of the character sets uh, detailly. So, letters. First, as common into uh, like, uh, let's take an example of English language. Uh, in English language, we learn from the letters, numbers, yes, some, there may be special symbols. Uh, words, paragraphs, right, and some grammatical syntax rules. As about that, uh, we also have here C programming language, and here also we see such types of things and stuff in it. So they are none other than letters. It's like alphabets, uh, either maybe in capital letters or small letters, and one digits, digits. So digits is nothing that zero to nine numbers. One more thing, special symbols. So in special symbols, what may be means? It may be plus, minus, multiplication, division, percentage, exponential signs, ampersand, and till. So like this, we will get a lot of symbols in C programming language. Uh, next video also we will uh, see this all the simple details names and its functions okay so let's come to another point that is token so what is tokens so tokens in the sense it's a smallest unit it's a smallest unit in the c program language in c programming language you use the token and it is hence called a single unit of a c program okay <coughs> so we'll discuss this again in uh, some basic examples of C programming language. So if there will get the okay, 
now keywords so what is keywords means keyword is a reserved words or unreserved words in c programming language used commonly so <coughs> hence in c programming language or in different other language we will get a lot of reserved words that means a reserved keywords in english language we use the words and hence here we get reserved keywords whose functions are already defined to each of the words <coughs> so in c programming language we we get 32 reserved keywords and each of them are assigned a functions which they will operate in c programming language okay so now next is comments we will discuss the keywords examples uh, in program examples and we will be clear about that now let's talk about the comments so what is comments comments is nothing that as in our real life we use the comments for commenting some uh, notes what we have written or with what we have created a post or something like that so as same as that in english language or something other in real life in programming language also we use the comments for stating that for what purpose we have written that program or a single line so a single line in c programming language that is called a statements so a lot of statements are there in a single program and in a single programs whatever a written statements is there that is commented according to the according to its use so there are two types of comments that is single line single line and multi line so today we are going to discuss only the introduction so i am not uh, showing its examples <coughs> and again uh, we <coughs> uh, now let's talk about a single line in a program is called statements and we are giving some introductions about the variables uh, just briefly uh, so let's see uh, variables what is variables in our real world variable is nothing that uh, just something which stores the value like uh, a basket a bottle a bucket we stores something some values like we may store a glass of water in it in a glass we can store some water and consume it or do something like that so why we need the variable in programming or in real life <coughs> so let's talk about this <coughs> suppose we have 1 kg don't say kg as it is like liter ok so 1 ltr 1 liter of milk, 1 liter of, uh, let's see, uh, water. We have to exchange these pots. So we need, it's filled up to here, it's filled up to here. So 1 more liter is there. And if you want to exchange it, if you want to exchange it, then how will we exchange? We need some another pot. So we will take a blank pot like a <coughs> empty pot and this also may be one liter. We will pour it here. It will be black, uh, it will be empty, then we will power it this one and again we will power it to this milk bottle. So here we are using an empty bucket temporary variables. So <coughs> to exchange it's the concept is called swapping it's called swapping so using these variables we are doing some tasks even we will do some examples of this concept in C programming language in the next videos you will enjoy it and for today only I was showing that the uses of variables what we do we just stores the value so in a C program also we have the variables that stores the value. Let's see the definitions of the variables. So a variable is an identifier for keywords. As we already know, 
there are some keywords uh, that is 32 keywords reserved and other are unreserved keywords. So let's see a variable is an identifier or keyword which stores the value and make changes during the execution time. So what we are having here variable means in real world we were having some one liter of milk, one liter of water and the temporary variables which was empty. And we just exchange water and milk in different pods using our empty variables. So here also <coughs> a variable is an identifier or keyword which stores the value. They are storing the value <coughs> that may be a keyword for example. Uh, just like we can say uh, ABC is a variable. It's a variable name, variable uh, which it will store the value in it, perform some operations or it may not per perform any operations and its value will be changing during the execution time. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, for today, only this much. Thank you all. Like, subscribe.